Hey, how's it going? Uh, today I'm gonna go over how to draw a Christmas tree. Uh, it's gonna be simple, easy, completely for beginners, so hopefully you're ready for it. Uh, that's it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk you through it, so if you're a beginner, this is the place to be. Uh, and that is all. So let's get started, okay? Before I do that, if you like learning how to draw anything in the, the short format, like the 10 minute format, hit the subscribe and click the bell notification. I go over stuff like, you know, uh, Godzilla characters, Among Us, uh, Pokemon. I go over everything you can think about in like these 10 minute videos. All right, so let's get started, okay? Stay all the way to the end, by the way. It's only an eight minute video. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. So let's start with a star at the top of the tree. I'm gonna draw a triangle at the top. Out over here. Out over here. Out over here, out over here, right? You got that star shape right at the top. And it's easier to go from the top and then kind of make your way down than it is kind of the other way around. Out over here for one prong of the tree here, over here. Pulling down again, larger. Pulling down over here, larger out, pulling out a little bit. Same thing, larger here. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw Spider-Man being trapped by Dr. Octopus's uh, claw, basically. Um, it, or both his claws. It could be two of his claws, I mean. Uh, it's just going to be really simple. Uh, relatively easy, but I'm not going to lie. It's going to be, you know, not quite for beginners. I would say intermediate. But if you're a beginner, you will learn a lot, all right? So I'm going to go and walk you through the entire process. Um, let me know how it goes for you and should be about 10 to 12 minutes this particular one um and that's it all right real simple stuff so stick around all the way to the very end all right i'm gonna be using a marker the entire time you can use a pencil you can use anything you like let's get started <clears throat> so uh before i do that don't forget to hit the subscribe if you like learning how to draw spider-man uh you know if you like learning how to draw anything for that matter uh, i go over pretty much everything you can possibly draw every character i go over pokemon i go over uh, Godzilla, I go over Fortnite, I go over like Roblox, I go over everything. So absolutely, you know, hit the subscribe and press the uh, bell notification. I'm using the wrong marker. Okay, cool. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Spider-Man's head. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to draw a line. It's going to be right here for his forehead. He's going to be aiming up to the left. I can see like a line underneath this paper. Let me move that around one second. There you go. There's like a marker line underneath. I can see it. I can see through it. Curve here. For the for his top of his head. Rolling into the back. Pulling down to the neck here. And down a little bit more. <laughs> Down over here for the front of his face. Down here for the neck. And then down here for the rest of the neck here. Line from the chin area up for the back of the jaw. Now I'm going to go over here and draw the eye, right? So his eye is going to start toward the front of the head because he's looking that direction. And I'm going to go over here, curl up, curve up, I mean. Go over here, scoop below, and go up here. <laughs> All right. And now let's start, draw, start drawing some of uh, Dr. Octopus's claws over here. Line over here. It's kind of, kind of a little bit of wave. I'm going to fill this part in with his body with Spider-Man's body. Out, down, in. And I'm gonna follow the flow of that line. Go over here. Almost like he's wearing these uh, scarves or something. Down here for his arm, you could see his arm a bit. And we'll draw another line across over here. It'll be another uh, claw that's spinning around him, like kind of an octopus. 
line over here for the front of the body, and maybe a line of his arm over there that's trapped. And then I'm gonna go over here and draw a line over here for his arm in here. I'm gonna draw another claw. His claws have a bit of a texture. Then over here. And let's draw one more claw kind of spinning uh, you know, around him. One more. Right there. So you got three of him tied around, alright? Let's have his leg come out the bottom here. And let's have his other leg kind of out, like dangling, right? Like it's, it's out there. But you're not going to really see that much of him, to be honest, because... Um, Let's draw like right here, like almost like an upside down V for his leg sticking out. And it kind of vignettes out from that. And then we're going to have the actual uh, tentacle over here, maybe coming out the bottom over here along the edge. And it's going to go wham, off over there and he'll be off screen. Doc Ock will be off screen. <laughs> okay, doing good. And what I want to do over here is I want to have one of his claws kind of about to, you know, yank his mask off. So I'm going to draw a line over here where he's looking. And I want this down right here. And I'm going to segment those out. See that? Like right there, I'm going to segment it. Uh, hit the like, by the way, if you like this drawing. Uh, definitely helps out the channel a lot. It, what it does is it helps the algorithm immensely. So over here, and he should have like another claw on the back. Let's see, line here. Line there. And curve line over here. And curve line over here. So I have the claw out there. So let's draw the texture on the claw. The claw is, you want to follow the, the line of it, the textures. It has a, kind of some blockiness to it. Um, and you, you have your choice to do it. Because there's kind of two sides of it. You know, you can do it a lot of different ways. But we're just going to do the simple way. You know, we're going to draw just kind of um, some uh, like hard edges in this like, you know, think of like maybe like a fire hose or something like that. And but we, he needs the he needs to be segmented though, because that's kind of how it's moving around. Over here as well. Needs that segment. So that's gonna run off the page there. <laughs> so. Let's go into the actual outfit real quick. I'm gonna go over here and, and it's gonna be small scale stuff. Like, so I'm gonna do a little explosion shape, like a little net, right, for his webbing. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna pull thin lines. I mean thin. And they're all gonna radiate from the front, right between his eyes, right? Right here. line across over here. His neck is basically a checkerboard, the way I think about it. Might even thicken this line up for his neck here, so it won't be caught up in the lines, the confusion. I'm gonna go over here, draw the webbing. So it's like a circle on the front of his face, but it has a webbing pattern on each one. And then let's go down to the arm here. So it, it, there is kind of a seg. I'm gonna draw a line here, and I'm gonna draw the checkerboard pattern here on his arm showing for the red. And maybe I'll draw a thin line over here because I think blue is just on this side. And I'm gonna draw. Th these lines have to be thin because you want to distinguish it. Ooh, they're a little tight there though. I should have spaced them out a little bit. Uh, the reason you want to do this. Okay, then right here, go down. The reason you want to distinguish them is because you want to be able to tell the difference between the claw and him, right? And even even the claws, you can kind of do some 
extra stuff on it right here. See, look like you can put like these little squares to make them look like they move around. You don't have to do this one, but I just recommend it. Oh man, there's so many though. That's the problem. Now I have to like do this. Um, anyways, that's you were near the end of the video. What I want you to do uh, really quick is to uh, say hi. Definitely hit that like button, of course, and share the video if you can with a friend or share it maybe on Twitter. When you do that, it basically gives uh, the channel a big boost uh, as far as algorithm goes and just kind of like having cool people around. Um, I, I want this firearm to have a little bit of a, yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. I want to thank you for sticking around. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let me know some, uh, more requests. This was actually a request that came in. Uh, ooh, actually it looks like one claw, right? I didn't think about that. Hmm. Somebody just told me it looks like one claw. You could draw maybe another one over here. It looks like he just has like a snake, right? As opposed to several claws coming at him. Uh, yeah, I don't know how we're going to distinguish that. We could draw another one over here. See that? And that will kind of fix that so now it looks more like multiple claws are attacking him that one I just kind of did really quick right so it looks like there's uh, several things instead of just one like you know weird uh, snake thing uh, thank you so much I'll talk to you later and I'll see you soon all right hit me up in the comments